I was in high school, I was good at math, didn't really have a lot of direction about in the real world what I wanted to do. Um, in unique circumstances, so that was about the time the 2008 recession kind of hit, and I came from a lower income household, so I was looking, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. And I looked and said, hey, all of those people are still working, the engineers and what we now call STEM. Um, all of those people were still working, and you know, come to find out, that's because we basically keep the lights on, we're keeping the world running, even when you know, markets crash, it's a needed job. Um, and I looked at that and I said, hey, those people have job security, they're compensated well, um, and I did more research into it. You know, they did a lot of the troubleshooting and fixing and taking things apart. Um, and went to school for four years and find out that I really, really did like that. Um, and then that's kind of led me to where I am today. I really enjoy working with the people that I work with. Um, on top of that, in my particular role as an engineer, I do a lot of hands-on troubleshooting. So equipment is designed and then it's in service for 60 years. And so there are times when things break and you don't replace the whole piece of equipment. So an engineer may come in and kind of reverse engineer it, figure out why, how it worked in the first place, and then why did it break. And so a lot of times I'm the hands-on help that does that. And that's by far the most rewarding piece of what I do. I, I would say there's endless opportunities in STEM. So we live in a, um, especially if you're coming up, you know, now you're a middle school or high schooler, you're surrounded by technology. And you've always been surrounded by technology. What you don't understand is there's lots of things that go on behind the scenes to make all of that happen. And that's STEM, all of it is STEM. And it's always gonna be there. So like hospitals, that's a really important part of society. Okay, well they, there's engineers that make that happen. Um, you know, law offices and stuff like that. All, all, there's all forms of society that in one way or another, some STEM field touches that. So, you know, don't think that, hey, I need to only be a lawyer. I need to only be an engineer. I need to only do this. There are lots of options and engineers support a lot of those core things that you don't really realize as a kid um, that allow you to do all that.